Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of What Covent Garden. It is Saturday Specials once again. This series is all about the build up and the excitement of Christmas and we've gone all out Christmas. For the next few weeks we've got some alternative Christmas recipes if you're like me and my family and you just don't like turkey. This week's recipe is a lotus leaf fried rice. So I've got a base of ginger and garlic, some water chestnuts again for the lovely season that we're in. We've got some dried shrimp here. They're just soaking in hot water, ready to chop up slightly. We've got some shiitake mushrooms, again, soaked in hot water overnight and then sliced through. Spring onion for that base flavor as well. The only thing I haven't chopped is my Chinese sausage, which is basically like a sweet version of chorizo. So it's quite fatty, really good for stuff like this. This is quite an earthy fried rice dish. I'm gonna fry the rice and then I'm gonna put it into my lotus leaf before I then steam it to finish to get that flavour from the lotus leaf. The only other thing I'm going to put into this is some coriander stalk. And that will add a lot of earthy flavour again to the base of my rice. I'm going to fry it into the rice so quite chunky bits are good. So all my ingredients are ready. Let's say the board is my wok clock here and I'm going to go all the way around. So the rice I've actually steamed already and I've just put slightly less water than I usually would into it just so it can separate out really nicely which is perfect for fried rice. I actually put a little pinch of salt and sugar into this as well to flavour the base of the rice. A little bit of oil Baste your wok, your ginger and your garlic in first. Just fold that through. And I'm going to follow around my wok clock, so 12 o'clock with my ginger and garlic. Spring onion next. It's nice and organised. I'm just going to go round and round my wok clock until everything's fried together. Next up, the shiitake mushrooms. You can see it's a nice earthy fried rice. I'm not adding any oil until I need it. High heat. Your water chestnuts and your sausage are going to come through. And your dried shrimp. There will be some of that fat that comes out of the sausage. So just fold that through, allow that fat to come into the wok. And whilst that's warming through, that fat will just drip down to the base of the wok. So you shouldn't have to add any more oil before I put the rice in. My rice, just going to get some nice, couple of good spoons of rice in. You don't want to overfill your wok. And just start to fold that through nicely. That should soak up all the oils from the sausage. Lovely therapeutic sound that. Just keep that going. The coriander is going to go in very last. Santa's getting hungry. That steam's coming through nicely now. All my grains of rice are separated out. There's a slight bit of sticking on the base, but that's okay. A little bit of light soy sauce. Make sure that heat's nice and high. Sesame oil. Now this is going to steam again, don't forget. So once you've got that sort of smokiness coming off the wok, then you can switch that off and loads of that coriander stalk into there. Fold that through and I'll add to the fragrance and really work well with the sweet aroma that we're going to get off the steaming process when we pop this rice into the lotus leaf. Hot stuff. So this is where it differs slightly to your everyday fried rice. And this lotus leaf, which you can buy in Asian supermarkets, 
it's been soaked in hot water. I'm just going to lay that into my steam basket. So that's been soaking in hot water for about 45 minutes or so. And now I'm going to take the rice and then just pop that into the actual leaf. So you can actually have this all ready in advance, let it cool, pop it in the fridge and then steam it for sort of 10 minutes once you're ready. I'm just going to do it straight off the wok here. Just close that like so and cover it. Bring your wok to boil halfway up with water and then straight on to steam. So the rice has had about 10 minutes on the steam. I can smell that lotus leaf really cooking away nicely. It's almost cleaned the wok whilst we're at it, so that's good. Really lovely tea-like aroma. Oh, looks beautiful too. I'm just going to dig straight in. A lot of this is about the aroma, like drinking tea. Mm. In my mind, that's the best way to eat fried rice. Earthy, sweet, slightly salty, and that great aroma from the big tea leaf. Guys, if you like this recipe, you want to learn more about Asian cuisine, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and Merry Christmas to you all.